Dave, describe the Muratech machine that we're standing in front of, please. Okay, this is Muratech's new model, the MWR120, which is a twin gantry, twin spindle, uh, twin turret and twin Y-axis machine. Okay, this is a parallel spindle machine compared to an opposing spindle. So perhaps describe the advantages to having this style of machine. Well, this is designed purely for billet work. Um, so you have a stocker at each end. And the, 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 the advantage of having this kind of uh, machine over an opposing spindle is the turnover unit, which you see above. That is the transfer time, which you normally would pay for every component on an opposing spindle. But what you get with this machine is it's turning it round while it's still machining. And taking this really as two machines in one footprint, or two spindles in one footprint, what can you do in that working envelope? Well, Each what one? you've got inside is X, Y, Z and C on both spindles. Uh, the Y axis now is plus or minus 60, so that gives you the opportunity to have sister tooling, uh, group tooling, so where this is a 10 station turret, you can actually double your capacity and get up to 20 tools per turret. So you can mill and you can turn? You can. You can. Walk me through how it works and the permutations of uh, operation. Okay, well in, there's two permutations of this machine. You have a stocker on the left hand side, which obviously loads up 10, transfers, loads up 20, and then carries a the finished component out to the other end, either onto some sort of conveyor system or an inspection chute, or yet another stocker to store the finished parts. But the other permutation which we like to promote is doing two components at once, which would be two stockers, both loading OP10, then two turnover units upstairs, turn it round to OP20, and then ba basically take finished components back to the stocker area as they came from. Okay, this isn't the only way to turn parts. There is, of course, machines that have opposed spindles, um, multiple turrets. What's the biggest difference between that style of machine and what you, you're presenting me with here? Well, the difference between opposing spindle and parallel is the turnover unit itself. Every component needs up to 30 seconds to transfer from spindle to spindle. And what this does is do that in cycle whilst you're still machining. So you end up with this flow where you're machining one, machining up two, and then you're actually turning over this, uh, the component ready for up two whilst you're still machining. So you get that bit for free. The speed of this, it's clear to see, incredibly rapid. How important is that and how reliable is that? Well, I mean, this gantry is the aluminium frame version, and that is 200 metres a minute. So each gantry arm can move at 200 metres. Um, that's obviously important because the, what you don't want is the gantry labouring for the machining that's going on. Now, this cycle that we're running in fresh air down here is about 10 seconds, and the gantry is waiting to load. So it's incredibly capable of doing fast, repetitive, quick cycle time work, but it also has now got the capability to do more detailed work where you can actually, um, you know, fill these turrets up with live tools and multiple turning tools and do complex components as well. Running unmanned and lights out often comes with challenges that many machinists will know. People must ask you, um, what does this machine have on it too that can help you cater for those long lights out runs? Well, obviously, you have SPC shoots for either end. You also have the capability of having inspection areas at each side, just behind the stocker there and on the opposite end. So you can have, actually have inspection on OP10 and OP20, and you can keep that cycle going. Unmanned is, is the, you know, the utopia for this situation now. Uh, like I said earlier, you now have the capability to get more tooling in there so you can have sister tool groups, spindle load monitoring, tool load monitoring. So you can actually basically fill the machine up and walk away. And with you having these two working areas, um, there's lots of swarf being uh, made in here, there's, there's, there's coolant, high pressure coolant, all those things happening inside here. Lots of transfers of components, chuck jaws, things like that. How do you make sure that you don't have issues in those areas with those contaminants that can stop production? Well, through each spindle, you'll have air and coolant through each spindle. Above the spindles, you have over spindle air and coolant also, that's on each side. The swarf conveyor is very wide, so that deals with getting the swarf out of the, out of the machine. So obviously building up the sides is never good. And also we offer high pressure coolant uh, systems, 20 and 70 bar. Okay, now let's talk about the size of the parts that the machine can cope with. What is the model that we have here's um, capabilities? Well, the gantry is designed for 120 diameter by, by 80 millimetres long. 
So that is the loading capacity of this gantry. What about the weight? Uh, three kilos on each gantry hand, so six kilo per gantry head. Now, who is this machine for then, Dave? Who, who is it? What are the applications that really suit this best? Well, historically, this would have been an automotive solution, but now with the incre increased Y-axis, this enables sectors such as medical and uh, you know aerospace to be interested in this kind of solution. Is it for a subcontractor? Is it for a company that's that's unsure of their future? Is unsure of what components are coming through the door? Because that's a big market that you're beginning to penetrate with the Muratech machines. Well, this is for subcontract machining because they are very versatile. You can do, I mean, the, the range that we give you as a standard with the loader programs will give you each permutation. So you can do OP10, OP20 and out, or you could do two at a time, or you could just basically do OP10, 20 and 30 in another, you know, the, 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 it's limitless. And the Muratech brand itself, how would you best describe, finally, on this interview, how, how, where this sits in the market, how good these machines are? These machines are excellent machines. They are premium, premium build quality. They are massive Japanese build, uh, massive company, and there is no limits to what these are capable of.